What's up guys, King Bimo TV here for a chromatic cube draft. I had a poll on my page and by the time I checked it, chromatic cube and thunder junction were tied. So thanks for voting. I decided to do the chromatic cube because it's 4,000 gold to enter and I had like 4,000 and change. So I figured let's do that. Uh, of course, looking at all the cards in the pack, it's very overwhelming <laughs> which direction to go in. Um, like I don't know what half of these cards do to be honest. I know Grave Titan's good. Uh, lands are always nice. Let's take a look, man. Grave Titan's good. It's not like insane for a cube format. Blue's usually pretty good in this format if you just draft a bunch of counter spells, but there's only usually like four or five anyway, so. Uh... I mean, black red's usually pretty good in this format. I don't know. First picking a haunted ridge seems pretty boring, though. <laughs> I'm gonna first pick haunted ridge. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, overgrown tomb. Final devastation. No. Inferno titans okay. The grave titans better, but. Uh, Forge Fire, this one's okay, I think, right? Three mana, three, two. Yeah, card's pretty cool, too. How about this one? Beginning or end step, you control no creatures with Decayed. Yeah, this is a good one. Makes a new creature every turn. Uh, Evolve Sleeper's nice. So maybe it would be like a black red aggro deck or something. A lot of people, I feel like when they draft this format, they just play like... Like, everyone's deck is like four colors, average card cost seven so like i feel like you're usually very safe drafting counter spells or like aggro decks if you actually want to win unless you just don't care and you want to play fun stuff so that's probably what a lot of people do i'll take the evolved sleeper try to take advantage of everyone building these mess decks and just uh you know get in there get a quick win uh lightning bolt's pretty good mold drifters like best card ever love me some mold drifter but not for this black red aggro deck. Um, what's this witch do? Okay, right, right, all right. Three mana, three, two menace. Ward pay three life. Yeah, this one's solid. Nice little beater, but I think we'll just take lightning bolt. Safe pick. Really good. Happy to have it. Uh, Gix is good. Uh, Lannery Storm's okay. Uh, I think we'll, we could just take Gix. Just be like this Black Rod Aggro deck. Looks like it's coming to us. See, everyone wants to play like the Field of Dead deck in Chromatic Cube. And it's like, all right, man. Um, okay, we got some alchemy, car alchemy cards here. I remember this one being good. Bank Child, beginning of your upkeep, exile the bottom creature card of your library. You may cast that card this turn. At the beginning of next end step. If the card is still exiled, put it in your graveyard and create a treasure token. Yeah, so like it makes a treasure token every turn or lets you kind of draw a card, essentially. It's pretty good. Uh, collective Brutality is also fine. Um, yeah, I'll just take a bank job. Mana base is good. Blood Crypt is great. Twin Shot Sniper is okay, right? Four mana, two, three... Okay, yeah, it shocks something. It's kind of like that new plot card almost. Um, forgot what it's called. Bridal Bighorn or something? Does that sound right? All right, what does this go card do? Angrath, Flame Chained, 5 mana, 4, 4. Each opponent discards a card, lose 2 life. Okay. Uh, threaten, and then Sacrifice. I mean, this card seems okay. And it's pick six. I probably won't table anything at this point. So I think I'll take the Blood Crypt. I'll, I'll be able to get some other dumb five drop, like this card. Uh, five mana, five, five flying. Give me your end step. Conjure a big dumb dragon. Okay. <laughs> All right, cool. I'll, t I'll take the Blood Crypt here. All right, here, here we are. What does this do? Prosper, Tonebound, four mana, one, four. Death Touch. At the beginning of your end step, exile top card of your library. Until the end of your next turn, you may play it. Whenever you play a card from Exile, create a treasure token. So 4 mana, 1, 4, Death Touch. You can kind of draw a card. If you play it, you get a treasure token. All right, I thought it would be better. It's like fine, but... The Eldest Reborn, Sack, Discard, 
Reanimate, that's cool. Yeah, I'll try this Prosper Tomebound card. Uh, decent pack for us. Murderous Rider is pretty nice. Solid high value creature. Magda, Dwarves. When you attack with it, make a treasure token. Two mana, two one. When attacks, make a treasure token. Loot. Uh, I think I want it. I don't have a two drop yet. I guess I'll try Magda out. Two mana, two one. Make a treasure token. If you have another dwarf, you get a treasure token, and your dwarves get pump, uh, pumped. I don't think there's a lot of dwarves in Magic, let alone this format. Smoldering Egg is a little too slow for us. Uh, this we already cannot use because we have Gix. Cruelty of Gix. I don't know if I'll play Cruelty of Gix, to be honest. So it's like Semi Thoughtseize, Tutor for five. Yeah, I don't love it. I'm going to take this, this Gigantha card. All right, we tabled this guy that makes a two-two every turn, so that's cool. Wouldn't I wouldn't hate taking you know one of these black or like Clifftop Retreat or Temple of Silence to potentially play white or potentially play blue with Clearwater Pathway, but I'll take this card. It's an actual playable. So uh, this card's okay, I think. This could be a good finisher. It's got backup, so enters the battlefield. Put two one-one counters on something. And then if you put it on something else, it gets this ability. So you can kind of fling a creature at your opponent. It could be okay. Um, I think our deck's too fast for every other card in that pack. So This card's all right. Uh, it's totally fine in aggro deck. Coming into play tapped, losing three life shouldn't really be a big issue for us given we're this aggro deck. Um, and there's some upside for late, late game. Not the most exciting card ever, though. Indestructible. Um, yeah, I don't think we're playing any of these. Haha, <laughs> look at that. We tabled this card. Perfect. We'll take it. Twin Shot Sniper wouldn't be bad either, but I'll take the Planeswalker. I can play some dumb cards in my deck too, right? Black Red. Uh, Victimize. What's this do? Choose two target creature card in your graveyard, sack a creature, return them to the battlefield. I mean, we're not the reanimator deck, so how about this one? Two mana, one, three. Four or more instant sorceries cards. Hmm, this doesn't seem great. Is this good? This is good, right? Four mana, six, six. This card's good. Hostage Taker. Big fan of this card. So I'm going to take Hostage Taker and then try to table the Watery Grave or the Thundering Falls. And we'll see. Maybe we'll end up a little blue, but hopefully not. Uh, a Braid is good. Crackle with Power. Triple X. Oh my god. So if I play that for two, it costs six, it costs eight, and it does ten to two targets. Okay. It's a little expensive, I think, for our deck. Probably a braid. A braid is nice, solid, solid card. Settle the score, exile target creature, end step, make a 1-1. One, one. If you have 13 permanents, what a weird card. Uh, intervention... Uh, this card's fine, but I'll take a braid. A braid's probably a little better. Uh, black, red, invasion. This is a wrath. This card's okay, right? Two mana, two damage to any target. You get a one-time boon with when you cast an sorcerer spell. I go to the top three card of your library and play one of those cards this turn. This card's fine. Um, Minsk is pretty cool. What is? I don't remember this being good. Four mana, four, four, flying trample. When it dies... Uh, it's okay. Uh, 
should be okay in our deck. How's this one? Dragons cost less. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, I guess I'll take the uh, the blazing sky here. I want some more like two drops and one drops would be great. Sorry, I went super close to the screen. Hope I didn't scare you guys. Uh, Incinerator of the Guilty, six mana. No. Well, that's a new card. All right, this pack has uh, been pretty dry for us, to be honest. Uh, I really don't want any of these. Any of these at all. I'll take three, but Inspector. Maybe we'll play white. Uh, Affinomancer. No, Affinomancer. Uh, I know the card, but I clearly don't know how to say it. Um, three mana, two, two, make a snake every turn. That's okay. Cavalier of Night. Five mana, four, five, enters the battlefield, sack a creature, destroy a creature. This card seems cool. Royal Eruption. Three to any target. That's also okay. I think I'll try this Cavalier Knight. It's a little expensive, but hopefully our mana holds up. Uh, play with fire is okay. Hell to pay is probably less good. Soul transfer is this one good? Uh, choose one if you control an artifact and enchantment as you cast a spell. Choose both. Exile a creature. Create a monk. So many words on this card. Yeah, I'm going to take play with fire. I don't know. Let's keep it easy. Oh, Itali's really good. I think we take Itali here. It's just stupid good, right? I don't think we're going to have seven, but maybe we'll get seven at some point, right? Itali's super good. Let's take Itali. It's pretty surprising I'm seeing it pick seven too, you know? See, even my deck's getting a little bit out of hand now. I'm trying to be this black-red aggro deck, but it's like, oh, maybe I'll play this this blue card and this 7-drop. Crystal Grotto? Like, I, I don't know. Collect Defiance. Oh, this was just reprinted, too. Okay, so many reprints. This one's pretty good, too, right? What did I take? I took Crystal Grotto. Okay. Uh, we tabled the Watery Grave, so if we want to play Hostage Taker, it's a little bit more on the table. Yeah, I do wish we had more 1 and 2 drops. Our curve's getting a little too high here. But I think we'll, we'll take the Watery Grave here. I don't want to play a card that costs 8. I guess in Intervention could be okay. Not thrilled about it. We'll take the Bolt. Um, this card's pretty expensive. Gambit. Oh, the classic uh, Final Fortune here. Yeah, I'm not playing any of these. Don't think we're playing Consider. I don't know, maybe we'll play this Planeswalker. You know Seems fine, right? It makes a creature by itself, it protects itself, so... Alright, we got Pylon, we got Rotisserie Elemental, Solemn, Similicrum, Sorin. Sorin's good, right? Draw some cards, make a Vampire, okay. Rotisserie Elemental's fine. Is this guy good? Uh, look at the top four cards. Target players. Blah 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 blah. Stealing some cards. Woe Strider. It makes sheep or something, right? It makes a goat. Okay. Woe Strider's okay. Would love just like a nice two drop. Rotisserie Elemental's like. It's okay. I guess we take Soren here. Our, our curve's just way too high. Karavik might be pretty cool. Karavik could be pretty cool, I think. Braids is 
upgrades is probably fine. Um, what else? Massacre Worm's too expensive. Enthusiasm. This card's probably solid. I want to try out Karavik. I think Karavik could be good. Let's get some more 1 and 2s. They don't even want me 1. There's not enough 1 and 2 drops in this format. I don't, I don't know. Um... Soul Servitude, Sacrifice a Creature, you discard a card. Alright, this card's cool. My Black Sun Zenith is good. Yeah, I'll take Black Sun Zenith, a little removal spell action. We have, we have like, already too many playables. We have 23 playables already. Does Zenith make the cut over something, or I take a non-basic land? I think we'll take Zenith. Uh, Shipwreck Marsh. Heart Flame Duelist. 3 to do 3 to any target. This would be a card I wish we could play. It's a nice, nice 2-drop. Two, two drop. Do we have a couple discard outlets? I feel like I know we've read a lot of discard outlets, but do we even have them? Guess we'll play Shipwreck March. I don't know. Our Heart Flame Duelist is really good, but uh, Decadent Dragon's good. That's what we want. That's a good one. Uh, what does this card do? What does this card do? Duplicate another non-token creature or artifact you control. Nahib, four mana, five four trample. card's cool, but yeah, we'll take Deccan and Dragon here. Temple of Malice. Seems good. Liliana. I don't know this Liliana. Mill cards. Make a zombie. Krenko. Krenko's good. Again, it's three drop. Where are the two drops, man? We'll take Temple of Malice. So our mana base should be pretty good. Draconic debut, I like a lot, but I don't think we have a dragon. Do we have a dragon? I know we have a dragon in the board. Let me play the dragon. What's this boar do? Five mana, six, six, boar god. You may put a, a creature card from your hand in the battlefield, tapped and attacking. Nah. Pearl collector. Oh, these were really good. We don't have white, though. All those collectors are super good. Oh, yeah. Here we go. This is a good reason to play Black Red. This is a first pick card. Love this one. Three mana, three one. Beginning of your end step. Discard a card. If you do, create a treasure token. Then you choose Ambitious or Expedient. You choose Ambitious. Seek a card with greater mana value than the discarded card. If you seek uh, Expedient. I think I read that wrong. You guys know. You guys know what it does. Or you don't. Uh, we'll take the Rotisserie Elemental here. I think our we have enough removal and stuff. We're gonna have to make some cuts for sure, but soul servitude seems whatever. God, I wish I could play hard flame duelist. I don't think we can. But... This is, can I play this card? No, whatever. <laughs> Let's stick to two colors. See, it's even I'm guilty of this. I don't know if we have enough reanimation spells. Maybe we play like a big dumb dragon and a tali and stuff like that. We become the deck we don't want to be. All right, we're not going to play this guy. F that guy. Do we have any dragons? We have two dragons. All right, so we're definitely going to play the blaze spell. Draconic debut. We have two dragons. I don't think we want to play Incinerator the Guilty, but maybe we do. All right, let's cut the blue. I think Hostage Taker is good, but it's not that good. Mess up our mana, our pristine mana base. Uh, let's see. Let's see.
13 creatures, pretty low. Let's cut some creatures. Don't think we need like 8 Planeswalkers either. Discard a card, lose 2 life. So I threw that 4 times right ultimate. Doesn't seem great. This one makes 1-1s one with prowess. Then it draws you some cards. Kinda does a kill spell. This one seems better than Angrath. I think so. Yeah, Soren's good. Soul Servitude, whatever. I do want to make sure I have some removal. This is a land. Maybe it's not a land. I don't know. I don't like. I really don't like this card. Draconic debut, intervention. I think we have a ton of removal. I think I think Bolt is good to have. Enthusiasm's okay to have. I think I'd rather this card be a mountain. All right. We're still at 13 creatures, which is not enough. But like this costs six. All right, no more creatures. What do we cut? Play with fire is pretty simple. Shock, maybe scry one. I think Kervik could be pretty cool. We sh we're probably committing mad crimes. Soul servitude can go. Maybe blast. I think this could be a good finisher. I'll cut play with fire. All right, I think this is our deck. We are not playing this Liliana. Let me just double check our... Uh... We don't need Crystal Grotto, actually. Because the Liliana is a good reanimation target. Not target, a reanimation spell. What discard outlets do we have? Well, I know we have a few. I thought we had a few. Well, I know Titan of the Waves is a discard outlet. Is that really it? All right, so no, we're not going to play Liliana. All right, this is our deck. Seems fine. I wish our curve was lower, but I feel that way every time I draft this chromatic cube format. I think they have a regular cube and a chromatic cube. I think I like the regular one better, but let's get into it. All righty. Canoon. Canoon the ca canoodler. All right. Our perfect mana base is showing cracks. This is hand is better. We'll cut Mr. Phosphorus over here. Poor, poor for, poor favors, poor foros. We'll play Jatter, Ghoul Caller of Nephilia, Nef Nephalia. Make a two-two. Are they in full control? God, are they gonna really shock our one-one right now? What? What the H? What the H? Right, maybe we can get them back. Nope. Alrighty. Let's hope we draw a land here. All 
Land? Oh, that's a land. Most of the counter spells in this format cost four, so. Alright, they just have kill spells, that's their deck. <laughs> we don't have enough creatures if their deck is just kill spells. I don't know what this card does, man. Don't kill it. Alright. Let's hope they can play some creatures. Alright, this is good. Now we'll have unlimited creatures. Bank job. At the beginning of your upkeep, exile the bottom creature card of your library. You may cast that card this turn. At the beginning of your next end step, if that card is still exiled, put it in your graveyard in the created treasure token. That's what I was thinking, reanimate. So maybe maybe we board in Liliana. Well, that gives us like two discard outlets, so not really great. Opponent's passing with five mana up. What a B, man. God, I just thought to myself, please don't be Atali. Atali's like the only creature we couldn't cast. I guess it's in the yard, right? So Black Sun Zenith. If we have eight mana, we can bring it back. So that's cool. We got a treasure token now too, right? Is that what this says? Yeah. All right. Our blue deck opponent has three blue. Not casting anything but instants. We're in trouble. We're going to get Cruel Ultimatums. Although I don't know if Cruel Ultimatums in this format. It should be. I don't know what the card does. When you cast an instant or sorcery spell, does one damage target opponent or planeswalker scry one? All right. When you cast an instant or sorcery spell, exile top three cards of your library. All right, so if we... Oh, this is, an, this is a sorcery. Okay, we can't kill it. Hold this lightning rod. Thanks. So they can copy their spells. They left two mana open, but not double blue. Three, four, five. All right, that's a good one. Okay. Did they run out of removal spells? Uh-oh. <laughs> Feel the fury of the tempest. All right. Ah! <laughs> we got a one drop. But they get to do this. Oh no, they don't get to do it twice. It's an instant or sorcery spell. So they get to do big score twice, but they discard two cards. A braid and... Wait. Yeah, it should be copied, right? Wait, are they, did they just make me cast big score? I don't understand. No. <laughs> okay. No, yeah, they can't make me cast big score. Yeah, okay, whatever. Alright, well that was pretty underwhelming, right? We can kill their planeswalker now. Okay, if we play this, this four, that's seven. We could kill a Tali. We could kill like everything. Play all three of these. They do have a lot of mana open though. All right, let's play. Let's play Bolt. Should we attack first? Let's attack first. 
see what they do. What do you got, bud? Put this guy in play. Create some zombies. We'll bolt Itali. Into the Royal. Uh, all right, we have four mana up with Black Sun Zenith. I think we still do this. So we can't do the ultimate here. Not the ultimate, but... We don't want them to get a tally and draw a card. This just doesn't seem good. Um, I think I'll pay two life here, so I keep my treasure. Play the sleeper. We'll pass here, make a zombie. They still have a lot of cards in their hand, right? So I'm aware of that. But they drew four cards last turn, so there's probably at least a land, maybe two lands in their hand. So sleeper becomes a 2-2, two, two, then a 3-3. Three, three. Uh, and then pay three, put a 1-1 one, one counter on it, draw a card, lose one life. Okay. So we drew our most expensive creature and then our second most expensive creature. But it is it's bottom card of your bottom creature card in your library, so it's not it's nothing to do with the mana, it's just how we've ended up so far, so. Alright, so we're gonna discard two cards right now and take two. Alright, that's the bummer. Yep, that's pretty good. Alrighty. We can kill, uh, kill Minsk and Boo, and then we can kill Ral. We could try to do that. When does this get sacrificed? Is there a time for me to... I actually don't know how this trigger works. So I'm going to try to kill Minsk and Boo. I don't know if I have priority to also sack it and kill the Planeswalker. All right. <laughs> Doesn't matter. All right. So we got wrecked. Wrecked that game. So... Um, what went wrong? I don't know. We mulliganed. Their deck was better. Not great. <sighs> Not great. Let's, uh, let's try it again. Let's try it again. Alright, we're playing Cav. 0011. Hand looks pretty darn good, actually. Turn 1, Sleeper. Turn 2, make Sleeper a 2-2. Two -two, play Tap Land. Back for two. Uh, 
All right, so it's pay two, becomes a three three. The Iron Crag. Do we make it a three three? Do we play Bank Job? Bank Job is pretty good. I can't really play that many spells though. Is Kirvik better? I think Kirvik's probably fine right here. We don't have anything in our yard right now. If they kill Evolve Sleeper, then we'll have something in our yard for Kirvik. What does this card do? Gaining one life, scrying. All right, they put it on the bottom. We'll never know. Case of the Locked Hothouse. That's fun. All right, Draconic debut. We're one short of casting. Hmm. What do we do? What do we do? All right, let's just bash. Take five. They are green black, so if we cast Decadent Dragon, we might be able to actually hit some some cards. I don't know if I really want Case of the Locked Hothouse, given its uh, colors were not. But it is pretty good, if we can solve it. White Sun's Twilight. You gain X life, create X colorless might creature tokens with Toxic 1. Oh, why couldn't we hit Oracle of Alpha? All right, let's uh, Draconic debut. Do four to this card. Play our free dragon. Oh, it costs... I'm bad. <laughs> it's not a free dragon. It still costs double red, so... What's this do? Search for a land? Two basic lands. They're pretty low on health here. Uh, la 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 la. Unfortunately, we can't cast Decadent Dragon and use our mana for anything else, but we can use Evolve Sleeper, so I think let's bash here. Okay. Um... <clears throat> Is Dragon better? Is this card better? Let me try this. Try out this card, man. Rotisserie Elemental. Alright, we don't want them to time walk here. Like, look at this guy's deck. He's four colors. Maybe he's not black. Maybe he lied. Okay. All right. Bolt is good. We only have so much red to go around, though. Let's bolt this. Let's 
Let's attack with everything here. Make it a 3 3. Play the rotisserie elemental and just hope they don't kill me next turn. Which they might. I wouldn't be surprised if they have a wrath or something. We have our treasure token, so we can play locked hothouse next turn. We have a lot of value, so even if they do wrath, we're still like pretty okay, I think. Alright. Our deck's not that good, so we just don't we don't want them to hit a tally, right? That would be bad for us. Oh my god, that was so many cards. Enthusiasm? Is that what they hit? Yeah, enthusiasm. So they kill one of my creatures and they got the villainous wealth for zero. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, create double tokens, sack two artifacts, put an indestructible counter on that. Okay. Alright, let's go face with the bolt. Do I actually? Six. I'm doing it. I don't know. I'm not sure. All right, I don't think I necessarily had them there, but cool. Amazonian. I think I played this person before, Amazonian. All right, I'll keep. Looks good. We have our discard outlet. We have two of our discard outlets. Rotisserie Elemental deals combat damage to a player, put a skewer counter on it. Then you may sacrifice this. If you do, exile top X card your library, X the number of skewer counters on it. You may play those cards this turn. Valkal, God of Lies, enters the battlefield, each opponent reveals their hand. For each opponent, exile a creature card they revealed this way until this leaves the battlefield. Okay, so we're just going to cast the Braid on it. Okay, let's hope they don't have uh, Snakeskin Veil in their hand or anything. Okie dokie. We'll play our Titan of the Waves. I'm going to discard this card because I don't know if it's a land. Or maybe, I guess a Swamp. I guess we want the red. Uh, yeah. All right. Classic field of the deck, Dead, right? Bramble Familiar. Rotisserie Elemental on three seems pretty good, but... Uh, this kills this, right? Choose target creature opponent controls whenever you attack this turn. Deals that much damage to that creature. Yeah, that seems pretty good. So let's, let's pay three life here. We'll play this. We'll do the minus two. Pick this thing, attack, that should kill it, cool, uh, no, we'll sack Rotisserie Elemental next turn, let's discard Magda, let's get greater, alright, cool, play Cavalier Knight and kill one of their creatures next turn, but I think Rotisserie Elemental on four seems pretty good, right? It's almost too much. All right, let's attack. Uh, 
I'm gonna sack it. All right, we gotta land. We got a uh, got a planeswalker. Uh, let's do the plus one here. Get out there and blaze apart. Let's create a vampire. And uh Yeah, I guess that's that's good. Uh I think I'm gonna get rid of Thrill Seeker. Okay. Two planeswalkers, three creatures, plenty of lands, we're beating them every way. Seven seven, this was this fight something, right? Gain trample and haste or fight something. Yeah, okay. Sure. So probably haste, right? Okay. Sure. Uh, four, five, six. Yeah, they're dead. Cool. You're lucky. I'm nice enough to just. Leave. All right, we have five, eight mana, so we play this on seven. Boom, 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 boom. All right. Started off uh, not so good, but we're coming around here. Coming around. All right. We got Zealot. Zealot? All right. We'll keep. We got turn two Magna, turn three Soarin. We're Prosper Tome Bound. Not sure which one's better. Oh, fast deck. Got the mirror match here, maybe. Nope. Pilgrim. Make Sleeper a 2 2 attack. Cool. Yeah, we'll play Tr Prosper Tomebound. Hope they don't have a removal spell. They'll probably block Magda here, I would think. They don't. All right, we'll play this guy. So every time we play a card from exile, we get a treasure token. Garrick. All right. Block with sleeper. All right, what does Garrick do? Make a 1-1 one, one. tutor. Okay. Not very scared of that one. Uh, Sorin. Or I could play Jag the Rotisserie Elemental Blood Crypt. That seems better. Get a treasure token. Play Rotisserie Elemental. Tap Blood Crypt. It'd be hard for Garrick to stay alive with four creatures in play for us. We have a nice easy card to play with Tome Bound. Yogamoth. Protection from humans, pay one life, sacrifice another creature, put a 1-1 counter on target creature, and draw a card. That seems good. Seems very good. Okay.
A lot of lands. Alright, let's put, uh, let's get some Soren going. See what we got on top. Not a tolly. All right. A lot of a lot of lands here. For knowledge, a fair trade. If we swing out, we'll kill Garrick, but we'll probably lose our Prosper Tomebound then. If we attack with the three creatures, Garrick's almost definitely going to stay alive. Um, humans. I do have a human. I think we'll attack with uh, two guys on the right here. Yeah, they don't really want to block with uh, Pilgrim, I think, so... Sack the token, kill Rotisserie Elemental. No, oh, kill Jodgar, okay. Yogamoth's pretty good, right? We have to draw some removal for that. Alright, we could play Bank Job here. I think we should. It'll exile cards, which will make tokens for prosper or whatever it's called yeah prosper another planeswalker soren's up at five that's a threat by itself all right what does this do sack a planeswalker or creature huh I think this Tomebound card is better. Alright, what does Garrick do now? Is it Overrun? Uh, what? Okay, yeah, I can't block that. Okay. Okay, Cavalier's good. Can we cast both of these? Jaya, no, we can't cast both. They have two planeswalker, two creatures in their graveyard. We're gonna have to discard a card. That shouldn't be a big deal. I want to get more use out of Jaya first. Frankly, destruction is best left to the professionals. You're no match for my students. A Cavalier Knight becomes a treasure. We can cast a Tushi next turn. God, I feel like we have a lot of cards that kills Planeswalkers, too. Just, like, not really getting them. Sure.
Okay, three. Learn to throw a punch, kid. Next turn, they reanimate, put to a creature or plane drucker from a graveyard. So they could get Soren, they can get Cavalier of Night. Okay. This is so many things to keep track of here, man. My world. Yogamoth has to die, man. Well, we can finally kill Garrick or Yagamoth with the uh, Thrill Seeker. Lot of card advantage. I think I'll hold on to Thrill Seeker. Killing Yagamoth now is whatever. Killing Garrick now is whatever. I think we'll make another monk here. And we will pass. Hopefully we still have uh, Jaya, whatever, next turn. We could do like the minus ability, draw some cards. Okay, they saw what I did with Prosser Brown, they're jealous. They've had a lot of card advantage this game, but so have we. Like, I feel like they've drawn so much, we only have, they have two less cards in their library than we do, so. Target, target creature card in a graveyard perpetually becomes an artifact. You may cast that card this turn, okay. They're pretty low on health. Maybe I just gotta just go to go face and ignore all this BS. We lost a lot of life with uh, Yagamoth. Okay. Okay. We could. We might be able to kill them, right? We can hit them for six this turn. Next turn with our uh, Atushi. They only have one flyer. I think I think we can kill them this turn. So they could kill Atushi here, right? That's their that's their strategy here. Discard a card, not a big deal, lose one life. Draw a card, great. Sack a creature, fine. Honestly, I'm not particularly 
I don't really care about either of these. So we could do we could do twelve to them right now. But they have Yagamoth. Alright, I'm going to play Kiravik, try to make this thing a 6-6. Six, six. They'd have to sack four creatures and lose four life to make this work. All right, what do we want? Do we want treasure? I don't think so. Black Sun Zenith on Yagamoth. Oh, I don't know, man. This game is such a hot mess. We're just four. Bring back the dragon. This guy's pretty darn good. Do the plus one. Get out there and blaze a path. All right, we lose two good creatures here. We get a treasure. Oh, one. Sorry, I can cast Gix next turn. Where's the Tali, man? God, how many, like, Lanor L variants do they have? They must have all three. There's so many things to do. Like, do I play Kervik and then, like, commit a crime or something? I have no pity for you. Garrick's at six? We're probably, like, dead, right? So they're Garrick? Tali's good. Tali's kind of usually the safe bet, right?
All right, let's just F it, right? Just do it. See what we got. Well, I mean, both these are fine. No artifact, right? Just ornithopter. What does Wolf Strider do? It escapes. We don't want that to happen. We'll just kill the Death Touch creature here. Lord Skitter will exile a creature. One, two, three. Oh, that's not, not even gonna. It's not gonna make much of a difference here. Uh, maybe we'll kill Gix here. Does killing Gix do anything, really? Killing Gix seems okay. I don't know, do we just attack Garrick? Like, whatever, just go face. Yeah, maybe we should have killed Low Strider because, like, they can make sure our Cavalier Knight doesn't gain any life this turn. That's pretty significant. They can't really overrun me now, though. Which is good. When it dies, each opponent discards two cards. You lose two life. Oh, and loses two life. Put target non dragon creature from a graveyard in the battlefield under your control. Okay. So they might do that. They might just sack it, right? Braids. All right. Not even sure what they're gonna get. Rankle, okay. They're at three. Seven cards in their library. Sacking braids. What are they doing? Am I missing something? Why why are they doing it? They just kept the card on top. Alright. I don't think that's lethal. It might be lethal, but I, don't, I feel like it's not lethal. I guess they have two flyers that I can't block. Yeah. Speak for the wild. It is lethal. Okay, yeah, I should have killed Woe Strider. I think I win that game if I if I uh, killed Woe Strider, right? Because they added... Nah. No, I'm at negative 10, you know? Maybe... I'm sure I could have played that game different, man. Some of these games are like, <laughs> fuck it, there's so much shit going on. Oh, man. Okay. We'll get him next game. Alrighty. Drew.0. Alright. Hand looks good, I think. We'll play a tapped scatter skull smashing.
Okay. All right, two two. All right, make a two two. Cast bolt on that. Okay. We'll s get rid of that guy. We'll pick uh, lesser. Okay, cultivate. Forest, forest. All right, let's uh, let's steal some cards, I guess, or bank job. Now nah, let's steal some cards. We could wait. We could do it later, right? We have no instance anyway, right? We just yeah, whatever. Just pass. All right, we have a lot of mana. Um, we are pretty close to being able to cast Atali next turn. Power and toughness equal to the number of lands you control. Whenever one or more non-token lands enter the battlefield in your control, for each of them, conjure a duplicate of it onto the battlefield. All right, so every land is a double land. That's fun. Pilgrim, sure. Oops, I forgot about that part. Whoopsie! So much F. Just so many things just happened. Are we just to play Tali here. I feel like that's probably fine, right? Draconic debut. I mean, killing that 6-6 six, six seems pretty good, too. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We can kill the 6-6. Six, six. I don't know. That seems pretty good. Let's kill the 6-6. Six, six. I don't think we need bank job. Given we have Titan of the Waves that's really firing... Oh, that's a dragon, too. That's cool. Case of the Locked Hot House is nice. And it's solved. That's a really good one. Alright. Let's play dragon here. Play Dragon, Kirvik, um, I guess we'll just decline here. We don't really want to discard either of these two. Like if we discarded a Tushi, we would get Cavalier of Night. Destroy my treasure. That kind of it turns me off from this um, Starnheim unleashed. Next crime I commit, I can cast Bank Job. Is this Sneaky Reach? No. This dies. Does it make anything? Yeah, it does. Got my treasure back. Soren's good. Primeval Titans is good too. There we go. That's a good one. I will. Keep that one. 
yourself fortune. Uh, I know the top card costs one, but I have to reveal it then. I don't want to do that, so let's make the vampire here. You fight for me. I would like to get rid of Magda for something better, but I, I like Black Sun's Zenith on top a lot, so... Alright, I should know what this does, but I don't... What just happened? All the creatures... For each player, choose a creature that player controls, sacrifice all their creatures. That's really my worst creature, the 4 4. Okay. Alright. God, they're killing Soren too? That's a pretty good turn for them, right? Uh, this is cool. When we kill the Walker, I think we can get back at Tali now too, which is awesome. We just cast this for 7. Yeah, you thought your turn was good, bro. Welcome to the big leagues, boy. <laughs> yeah, that's zero. zero. Wait, isn't it zero Thopters? Wait, why isn't it zero? Isn't it minus X, minus X? Oh, they're counters. Okay, got it. Can't read. All right, let's play this. Let's play. I don't even know what the Vivian does. Hopefully it's good. Uh, I guess we want to do the plus one, right? Excitement. Plus one reach. Okay. I call and Decoria answers. This is nine. Uh, we're one land away from ultimating Atali. which we have on top of our library, so. God, what is this? Oh my god, are we dead? Are we dead? <laughs> we take 21. Oh man, this format, man. Good for them, really put together deck. We went nuts on our turn, then they went more nuts, and then I thought we were good with Atali. And then they're like, no, we're just going to just hit you for 21 in one turn. So that's this cube draft in a format. That's why I like counter spells so much in this format. It's just like, just sit on it and F them up. So 2-3 with our black red deck. Again, I don't think this deck was perfect. We were missing a lot of early drops. I think a lot of like disruption, thought season, stuff like that. It's tough because like, I don't even know if thought season in this format, right? I'm just like, yeah, it should be in this format, right? Um, I haven't like actually looked at the proper list or anything, but I feel like every time I play it, everyone's decks are just like four color, do big things. And that's cool. But, um, that's why I kind of just like, sometimes I force blue and just be like, yeah, no, I don't want to, I don't want to do this game. I want to counter your spells instead. So, uh, yeah, I'll probably do another tomorrow. I'll take a look at the poll again and see if it's, if it's even or chromatic cubes ahead. So. Thanks for contributing to the poll. Like if you haven't already. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, guys. Check you in the next one.